Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. And Joy Nightingale. And today we have landed right here in Shelburne, Vermont. We're going to a museum I always wanted to go to. It comes with the name of the town, the Shelburne Museum. Um, the reason I wanted to go here is, as you know, I like stuff. Well, hmm. I forget the name of the woman, but someone, a woman, inherited a lot of money, didn't have to work more, and she decided, you know what, I'm just going to buy stuff. And put she it. Likes stuff too. And it turned into a museum. And her collections, not, she, she didn't have a little money. She had a lot of money. There's a carousel here. There's a, ra a, a curved barn that has the longest miniature circus. There's a full, the Ticonderoga, which was an old paddle boat from Lake Champlain, not that far away. What? She's like, you know what? I want a paddle boat. I'm going to just put that thing on my lawn. I want a stuff. lighthouse, put it on my lawn. And I'm like, yeah. This is, this is a spot for me to see. She's a very sure it's interview. Yeah, this is my life dream. <laughs> so uh, step right up, let's go for this ride. Check out the size of this thing. 38 buildings of stuff. And they said 20 gardens. 20 gardens, over 45 garden, acres. Garden, 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 garden. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not talking like a little paddle boat like you, you, you rent but... with your friend. <laughs> it's a covered bridge. Covered bridge, there's a lighthouse. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. It's about to go down. Oh yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm nervous about the cross penny machine. Someone left theirs and it looks like theirs wasn't lined up. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna line mine up, hopefully. Which one? Oh. So what image are you going for? I think the Ticonderoga. Okay. Two quarters and a penny. I love that so many places actually have like the crush pennies. Yes, it was lined up good. Oh, yay. We they probably it. just didn't line it up. They didn't read directions. <laughs> Always read the directions. <laughs> Starting at building number one, the round barn. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. I thought we were just going to look at a round barn. Oh. No, we have all these old horse-drawn carriages in here. This one's from Ipswich? It does go to Ipswich. From Boston to New York to Albany to Buffalo to Ipswich. Ipswich, in case any of you don't know, is a little town north of Salem, Massachusetts. Look, Joy, this one even has the little whip. Oh, yeah. <gasps> that is awesome. What? Popcorn wagon. Wow. I let me let me pick back up for this. I saw this. I thought it was a hearse wagon. I prefer a popcorn wagon. I was not expecting that. This was like the minivans yeah, of wagons the back then. Wagon, yeah. Minivan of it all. Oh, look at this one. This oh. one is sleek. That's I good. love that. Look, Joy, look. It even has Dumbo ears on the sides. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if this carriage. This one could jump over all the potholes with its big ears. This was considered, like, this would have been like a modern day limousine. Oh, I can see it. Look at the, the wood carvings and the filigree on this thing. This thing was sharp. Here we have what I thought the popcorn one was, a casket carriage. I like this one, it has the, the sleigh option below it. Look at this. This old school looking carousel. I love the, the more fabric top. And then behind this, is, oh, behind this, this is what we came for. You'll see that in a few. And we're off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you actually really see good. All the, the gears oh, wow. in this one. This is really cool. This is amazing. I know. I like this museum. <laughs> a museum where I get to ride a carousel is a good museum to me. It's cool in my book. <laughs> look, look, it's me in the mirror. And then it's Joy. And then it's me. And then it's Joy. And then it's me. <laughs> I like the horse behind us. It says, oh, yeah. this horse needs a rest. He's a tired one. He's, tired. He's been running all day. And he hasn't got anywhere. Slowbo. We are using the slow-mo feature now. 
of the video camera. Okay, maybe the carousel's just stopping. All right, so this is what I'm excited for. I'm just gonna give it away with the name, but you get to see what's inside. Behind us, this horseshoe-shaped building is called the Circus Building. You can see they even brightly colored it with all these varieties of daylilies wrapping around, but I didn't come here to see the flowers. Mm -mm. I came here to see the circus. So here we have Roy Arnold's Miniature Parade, 1925 to 1955. Carved one inch to one foot. It's crazy. Measuring 525 linear feet. Miles Parade is equivalent of a two mile long procession. Some of those used to travel routes up to 10 miles. Imagine spending so much years of your life just carving this thing. Thanks for coming. We just got here. What do you mean? This is not raining on my parade. Oh, definitely not raining on Joy's parade. And this is Joy's favorite thing. We start off the elephants. You think guys building a miniature parade? We'll put one or two elephants. No. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. Oh, it's gonna mess up my count. Twenty-three. 25, 27, 29, 30, 32, 34 miniature elephants. I didn't know there was gonna be little baby ones. Those are so cute. This banner girl says, tell your friends about it. I'm gonna tell all my friends and everyone watching on YouTube as well. I do like the chief. I love the the details on these carvings are crazy. And then we have the cowboys. So I guess we have the cowboys and Indians. Yeah. Oh, the prairie scout. He looks dressed like that, that performer, Chris McDaniel, that does the cool Western arts. It might have been based off him. I doubt it, but I'm gonna say it could be. Oh, and then we have cowgirls. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. There's actually two little mommy, daddy, and a little baby in there. In the clown car. There's Roman chariots. It's finally, Joy. I could say our chariot awaits. Oh, yeah. Finally. Could you imagine they had two rhinoceros sis 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 Mm hmm. That's what I said. <laughs> Bengal Lancers. Bengal Lancers. Joy. Mm -hmm. We went to a couple of circus. I've never been to a circus this cool my whole entire know, life. Right? What is wrong? French churros? <laughs> no, not French churros. They don't look like churros to me. <laughs> They're not. Okay, well, French, French cowboys. <laughs> the Rough Riders. Is one of them, is one of them Teddy Roosevelt though? Mm. And Wapiti, which is the Pony, oh, they have, cause they're such small little deers, they have pony hitches instead of horses. And then alpacas, and anteaters, and another <laughs> pony hitch. Ooh, clowns on stilts, I like them. They just look like regular, people? regular people. <laughs> but like, he has this oversized bag and their fun hats. I am Chipanti and Bamboo. Oh, I wish I could get a postcard of this one. Cause all I want is a postcard <laughs> with chimpanzees. Monkeys on donkeys. Monkeys on donkeys led by clowns. This parade does have everything. Egyptian cavalier man. We see a theme. I know, I, they actually show the real foes he based these off of to do the carvings. The America Tavu wagon, and there's the there's the wagon it's based off of. And our U.S. cavalryman. Just oh, but I like this one, U.S. cavalryman. The Age of Chivalry. Look at that, the two-headed dragon with the woman and the two knights and oh. circus queens atop camels. Look at them. You can see them riding in those little wagons. Lady equestrians. Oh, and they're just doing fun little tricks as they're they're riding along. Oh, I like this one. 
Little Red Riding Hood. No, this one's pretty cute. Mother Goose. Mother Goose is good, but I'm a fan of Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And even though it's in the middle of their parade, it ends the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. We have the Santa Claus one. She has so many kids, Joy, she doesn't know what to do. Oh, they caught some bad clowns right there. You know what they were arrested for? They weren't funny enough. Ooh, tropical birds. And the monkey cage. Joy, I'd say this right here, it's not my circus and they're not my monkeys. Polar bears. Oh, I like who used the glass that the um, to show the blocks of ice. Ooh, albino horses. Ooh, I like the albino horses. Panthers and leopards and jaguars. Professor Clowns. The swan bandwagon. Well, measuring 525 linear feet. Roy Arnold spent 25 years carving his miniature with the help of five assistants. Using detailed drawings and old photographs, Mr. Arnold painstakingly replicated in miniatures the most ornate parade wagons owned by America's biggest circuses. We just finished seeing the largest circus parade that we've ever seen. Yes. Now we get to see the largest miniature circus we've ever seen. Look, you have all the train cars that pull in. Actually build this up. Yeah. These carvings aren't as elaborate or realistic if you look at those elephants, but still cool nonetheless. Get your balloons here at 25 cents. Kids can't go home from the circus without a balloon. The ice cream, the toy circus, there's more of those animals in it. This was the, it looks like the Kirk Brothers Circus. I like the trapeze going up high. And then the tightrope walker here. Riding a bicycle across the type rope. I'd say I've never seen this trapeze stunt ever, but this high dive into the small pool is pretty cool. So we have other carousel horses along here that they're trying to restore. You can actually adopt a carousel horse to help restore it. These were actually originally from a 1902 and 1903. It was commissioned by Fonda Johnston and Gloverville Railroad. I like that a lot of railroads to get you to ride their line, build amusement parks, they end their lines. So you have some goats over here. You can see the old sled that you can ride in. Some of these horses. They also like that. I like this, the, the painter painting himself. Yes, Apollo. Conservation of this carousel was made possible by those two people who I guess adopted him. I want to just adopt that. That's cool. So I think it's in the about 25 of them of the different animals have been, been adopted. Yep. See, I would have wanted to ride the lion, even though he didn't go up and down. He just looked cool. Mm It's not the real one, folks. It's only a replica. Built by the Bald... Not, not Alec Baldwin. No, no, no. First American steam locomotive. Old Ironside. I like this. It's crazy to think where we are in Shelburne. New York is 292 miles. Montreal is 110 miles away. Preservation of locomotive 220 and the Grand Isle. The Grand Isle car from Central Vermont Railway. And this is why I like it. It's not just that they have a train car. It's we get to go in the train yeah. car. Joy, I take the Long Island Road every day. I've never got a train car that looked like this before. This would be awesome. Oh wait, there's kind of tight quarters. Yeah, but you're not spending that much time in there. No. You're spinning in here, like, look. 
Here would bathroom. be your bedroom. This can, there's over there's your bed. You have your sink in here. Here's your little tub. It looks like it's actually not like, this car would have been for one family. Like, you know what I mean? There's oh, the two yeah, beds. Here's their little private dining room. I guess this is going to be the mirrored image of that. Oh no, this is cute. Here you have your little bunk with the oh, sofa like beneath. Your call box. Oh, I like it. It's a nice sized kitchen. No, it's connected. Look, it's bigger than our kitchen at home. Yes, it does. Please keep off. Sadly, we were able to go into the old car. But this, this. this one. What's crazy, Joyce? You see our trains nowadays. I'm as tall as the wheels. Yeah. Look at the size of this thing. Imagine seeing this thing coming at you down the road. That'd be a scary thing. This is my favorite thing. The coupling cuffs. Right there. I love that when you get model trains, the trains lock the same exact mechanism. I just think it's a cool little feature. A full boat. That thing's crazy. So Joy, I think to get it here, they flooded Lake Champlain, raised the waters, brought this all the way in, and then put the boat down. What do you think? That sounds like actually... Because I have to be honest, I do not know how you get a boat from there and just dock it on land. I can't see them taking the whole thing apart. I mean, they had to have? I, I, I'm confused. But there it is, the Ti Ticonderoga. In 55, she was hauled on specially laid tracks along, across ro uh, roadways over a swamp through woods and fields. That's just insane. Let's go check it out. Joy, you there? Hello? Hello? She's there, folks. She's there. She's talking to us. What did you want? Hello there, pretty lady. How are you doing? Doing okay. Did you eat the little cupcake that said eat me and now you're hidden in this pipe? No, I'm around the corner. Wow, you're on. Let me find you. I'm going to trace the pipe. There you were. You were talking to us. <gasps> Some people might not know what these are because everyone has circuit breaks in their house. These are fuses still. I like that. You see how the motor goes and it spins the, and it controls that. And then here's the arm to those big paddles on the side. You have to step over it in the middle of the path. Look how set up nice this thing is. You have the full dining room. Do I have one question? What? What's cooking good looking? Let's see what would have been Oh, we actually you. do have what would have been cooking. Gas salmon that's like lox with hollandaise sauce. Yes, please. Roast rib of beef, mashed potatoes. Oh. Getting hungry again, Joy. We have some mm -hmm. eggs, some rolls. Don't worry, Joy. I'm gonna make you an omelet. You hungry? You hungry, Joy? For that omelet? Oh no. <clears throat> so it's an old ice box. So you put the food in here. You actually put the big block of ice in there to cool everything for you. An early refrigerator. Cool. Seriously, these are the cranks that would make the paddles on the outside, but look at it. It goes all the way up, over, and back down. This is the hot well. Oh, water. This is pretty crazy looking. This is some of the coolest tiles I've ever seen. It's like a puzzle. 
baggage now. Oh, we're going to the state rooms. Oh, that's cool. They have vintage postcards to look at. Mm -hmm. And old gums and beach. And, oh. I wish I was could get that joy. Look at the little mini pennant. So we're on the saloon deck. Luxury la Lodging. lodging. Oh yeah, got his little field camera. Gonna play some golf, oh yeah. The she didn't only buy her own ship, so it wouldn't run, uh, it already ran ashore, so it wouldn't run back into water. She bought herself a lighthouse as well. These, the gardens and these buildings are so cool. You just wander around through all of them. We're just looking for a spot to buy a bottle of water right now. Cause I'm a little thirsty. Found it, a cafe. Oh yeah. Found this is what I was looking for. That cool sweet water. You just wet your whistle. Found ourselves an old blacksmith. <laughs> Apothecary and the Atuckaway General Store. Good play on words with that one. And to get to the other shop, we have to go through the first one. So let's check out the general store. Oh, I love stuff like this. Look at the little box made of seashells. Some lucky strikes, a little doll. You get your spectacles or your top hats. We're gonna go into the drug room. I wish I was alive when they used to make compounds with all the stuff like this, like in front of you. Oh yeah! You know, these look more like spices. Peppercorn. Peppercorn. This is a really cool room. These are really cool room. I need some of that. Some hair health. Maybe I can grow some. Oh, I like. You can see back where they would make all the compounds. I just feeling a little sick, just go to the store and get this stuff. Point to it, Joy. They are the Tulo Tar and Wild Cherry Cough Syrup. Mmm, that sounds like it'll save everything. Oh, it's just straight up morphine. <laughs> Gets rid of that cold, really good. No more cough for you. I really wish I could have get sick back in the day, imagine. They'd be like, Doc, I got this pain, I just can't take care of it. I know what you need. You need some sarsaparilla. It solves everything. <laughs> I think I would really enjoy that until it came to, your blood looks a little thick. Here's some leeches. Then I'll be like, I'm out. <laughs> nope. Spent many days on the road. Stubble starting to form. I think I need me a shave. Now, to which razor should I use? Eeny? Eeny? Neeny? Niny? Oh, no. I want you only eat one swoop, two swoop, and you're all done. They even have veterinarian medicine here at the apothecary. Joy studying it up. Oh, this is cool. What they used to use then, and what they use now. See, because here, the healing balm oh, like would be Neosporin. Neosporin. Okay. And the Pepto-Bismol, always the word pep in it. Pepsogen. So peppermint, gin, and something or another? I guess. I always could use some of that. We know how my stomach gets. <laughs> Especially after the amount I ate. Wait, what shelf was that? I gotta go get me some. Pepsogen. Pepso. One of the cases on the counter. One of the cases on the counter. Oh. Yeah. Hold on. Let me, let, me, let me find it. Yeah, that would be it. 
Okay, you see it? Pepso gin. Make me feel all better. Cute little pond here. I love we actually have old cattails by the thing. And if you happen to go for a swim, I'll save you, don't worry. So this is just where they put the stuff they don't have room to put in the horseshoe barn, which we're gonna check out next. A cure wagon. Ooh, I wonder if they got snake oil for me here. That's an old school bus. <laughs> but this thing is cool. Still go wagon. This is more of like your trucks. Uh huh. Like Target CBS type of thing. Whereas like the other one, the covered wagons are people. Okay. So we're gonna go into the horseshoe barn. Joy, do you know why they call it the horseshoe barn? Why? Because it's shaped like a horseshoe. I wanted you to actually answer the question. <laughs> but just when you thought you couldn't see any more wagons and sleighs, there's more. <laughs> now you're on a video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are some cool ones. Oh, fancy. You want to make your horse look fancy, I guess. Yeah. Well, I want to wear this coat. Joey, you know the prom? What? Riding in wagons is on the fringe of existence. I like this one. Freehold Newark to New Brunswick. I love like all the normal patches, but the fancy one will sit in there. Or else was it all the normal people on top and they were like, Hey, stick Johnny in there. He smells. Yeah, stick Johnny in the pole. This is a cool one. This one's actually a gypsy wagon. It would be their home. I love the images of the dogs on it with the, the TP. So it's from the late 1900. Joy, I don't look behind you, but it's the Hatbox Ghost. Ooh. Can you believe it? Someone didn't close the door. What, do you live in a barn? Oh, we are coming out of a barn. Joe? 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 Where are you? Joe? Nobody knows. What did you do? It's this long story. A man asked me for a nickel. Okay. And next thing I was know, I was hanging from a trapeze with a bank robber and a bearded woman in the middle of a bank vault. And then I ended up here. I might get five to life, but it's going to make a good movie someday. Oh, think about what you did. I love if only someone could break me out. Wink. Wink, wink. Hmm. Quink, quink. <gasps> <gasps> I didn't say anything. No, nope, not saying a word. Do you have my pipe with you? No. You don't have my pipe? I'm going to go to the smoke shop and buy one. I don't think uh, that's what smoke. They smoke meat here, not sell pipes. Oh. My, my bad. I got her number. How do you like those crab apples? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just so thirsty. Ew. Don't do it. You're right. I'm not a horse. I guess I shouldn't. Just, 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 okay. Okay. I like we have an old covered bridge. Speed limit. Horses at walk. Vehicles. Motor vehicles, 10 miles per hour. You want to walk over the pedestrian area, Joy? Or where the motor vehicles go? Let's have a horse on the All right, we'll go, we'll go this pedestrian way. 
I just hope we don't end up like those people from Beetlejuice. Joy, yeah. we, should, we should get out of here. I think that little horseman's coming for us. Oh, no. Hopefully he follows the speed limit. We'll be fine. No flaming pumpkins being thrown at us today. Yeah. Almost. Almost. We're almost to safety. Oh, we made it. Whew. Sadly, we got to get going back on the road, but I wanted to show this stuff like the Dorset House, which hosts the decoy collection. Other barns, other farms, other great houses. This spot goes on and on and on. There's printmaking, there's weaving, there's barns, there's quilts. There's more than you can see in one day. That's why it's a good thing when you buy admission, you could come back the next day for free. Yeah, that's pretty cool though. Sadly, we won't be here tomorrow. We'll be far off in distant lands at a spot called Real Life and Work. We're just walking back to the main star. And it's a mile loop on the main part. And there's shuttle buses that actually extend the golf carts. But there's shuttle stops and I didn't stop when I'm hoping. I'm regretting now. I wish the shuttle bus passed us and put my thumb up and, and hitch a ride back, back to the entrance of the spot. It's a lot of walking. It's nice, but still a lot of walking. There it goes, the shuttle bus. Right when we got to the final building, we're trying to get to the art museum. So there you have it, the Shelbourne Museum. I have to say it is a very cool museum. Mm -hmm. A woman just mm -hmm. by the name of Electra Webb started it. it was, uh, she was a New York socialite, big game hunter, and avid collector, which mm -hmm. I am too. And uh, yeah, she started this museum. Like, I learned the Ticonderoga, they moved here in the 50s, so just put things in perspective how long this thing has been. She obviously isn't with us anymore, she's been around. But people have kept the museum going. Which is nice. And yeah. uh, mm -hmm. the collection still grows with the cool special exhibits and stuff like that. Um, I will say if you come, plan to do a lot of walking. Yes. Bring some water and stuff yes. like that. And uh, if you could spare the two days, because you do get the two days for the one admission, take Which them. Is good. Mm -hmm. Take them, enjoy it. Because I have to say, if you like looking at stuff, I love how variety is like going in old buildings to new buildings with cool collections to art exhibits. I mean, I was just looking at famous paintings in a miniature circus while standing on a steamboat and watching a blacksmith make some cool stuff. And, all cro in, and crossing at 1845 covered bridge. Yeah, crossing like all in one day. It's like, I, all in all, I'd say that's a, it's a cool museum. Yeah. So I could say it right now, Shelbourne Museum, been there, done that. Remember folks, safe travels, Good eats. live life. <laughs>